Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm gonna actually be building a computer with tubing, water, water cooling system, and I ended up buying this kit. Uh, it took a while to get here, a couple of days or so, but um, it got here, and we're gonna see what you get. It's not a fully loaded um, liquid, but I actually want to see some stuff that small fits adjustable for the actual case that I'm gonna build in in it. And it's a unique area I'm gonna build in. That's why I ended up buying this. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get when you purchase something like this. All right, so let's open it up. I kind of had to rip it up because look at how much tape they put everywhere. So first of all, they give you the actual tube itself. And there's actually uh, acrylic tubing in here. I can't even open it. It's completely locked. It's sealed. I don't even want to mess with it. Um, of course, I'm going to run water on it for quite a while. And this is tape. Um, I actually caught, caught in this and a little tape and it got dirty in there. So the tubing, entry and exit, entry and, and then this is not the exit. This is actually the actual top where you actually cap it up and the exit is on the bottom. Now, they give you two unique items in here. And these are the little brackets uh, where you're going to build uh, either you're going to build, build it standing up or you're going to build it sitting down. Um, it depends on how you want to build the stuff and the way it works. Let me open this up uh, These two brackets in here actually hold down the tube and they do have a actual screw in input in here that you could screw it in there um, It could go on the side of anything and these grab on pretty simple like this and You go either sit it up or stand it up against something um, two unique um, screw entries We're gonna put them here on the side uh, top of that they give you the actual pump and this pump Actually, um, it's acrylic right here that you can see it through. Um, the pump is pretty heavy. It's heavy duty. Um, they give you one input for the power, and this is going to be generating the the actual liquid coming out. And you can see the propeller in there, the actual the actual jet propeller, the actual spinning area that's going to be pushing the water in, water in, water out, pretty much in unique way. Um, it could it could be lined up if you can see in the bottom. They give you some foam in the bottom too, so you could put it anywhere and sit it somewhere. But um, they do give you some brackets in here. If you guys can see the little brackets in here, so you could screw in a couple of screws in here, so it won't be moving around and it could be in place. Um, you mark them in there, you screw them in there, you lock them in there, you lock them in there, and that's pretty much what you do. You're going to be able to see the propeller working through the tubing. I like that. Um, big thick. Um, uh, acrylic this is the heaviest part of it it's like a, a, a bulletproof acrylic that they you go to the banks this is pretty much what they use um top of that they give you this unique thing that a lot of people are like what what is this uh i didn't understand what it was for first but then i i put it together this is actually the foam for this is just big basic foam but this right so it's two rackets they give you and i was like the cpu water cooling mount uh, these are two different ones you can use it for anything uh, there's no instructions for them at all and they give you a lot of the actual uh, uh, tubing this is actually for the acrylic tubing and we're going to bring it here so you guys can see some of the stuff that's going to work all right so we're not we're going to do the acrylic tubing test but pretty much this is where all your tubing goes in here and this will tie out on the other end and in here and just to let you guys know this is three eighths right here by one half right three eighths by one half it took me a while i actually went to home depot looking for different parts and that's how i figure out what they are now on this part you got to make sure you have the sealer in here the, if you don't have the sealer water is going to leak so you got to make sure now on top of that people like to do the plumbing tape in here uh i used to do that before but then during time it kind of messes up so um it's your way um, you could use the existing water blocks that you have or you buy your own water block and they're very very expensive I actually ordered one that I'm gonna talk about it in in my next episode that it's, it's gonna have to go back But we'll keep talking some more now on this part right here. These are pretty unique They all fit in every single one of them. Like I said, it's it's a uh, three-eighths uh, one and a half by three-eighths the top of course the tubing and they give you um, They give you two of these two of these all right and then they give you one of these extenders to extend it in between um, one entry to another entry. Uh, and you do have to maybe buy a couple more 
I mean, you don't have enough here for maybe what you're going to build. You're going to have to buy some more. This is actually to top it off, and this pretty much goes in here. And it's this is to seal it up in here. And that's pretty much how it works. All right, for the purpose of a test, we're going to put it together here how it's going to work. Um, this is not acrylic. This is pretty much PT, PTE, I believe it's called. Uh, the tubing, it's um, 3 8 in here. And the way it's going to work, you pretty much put these in here. And you fit them in there. You fit them in there, and then you grip them on with with a little grips if you want. Uh, they do have. If you go, go to Home Depot, they do have some um, clips that you screw them in. But you better off buying the ones they actually um, they actually pinch. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These are little pinching ones if you guys to see them. And you could grab them with an actual needle nose plier and bend them down. And this will grab really good and, and really simple in here. But uh, uh, just to make sure they to put them in between here. And these you can't find them at Home Depot or Home or Lowe's or anywhere. You have to buy them online pretty much. And I am there buying them a kit and I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But this is a unique way to connect everything. If you're going to use this kind of tubing instead of uh, the acrylic, um, it, it's your call. It depends on what you're going to use it for. But this is um, the, this is how it works pretty much. I'm not going to put it in another way because it's kind of hard to get it out after. Um, because I still have to cut it and, and measure it and, and make sure that, that the tubing is going to be enough. Now, this is not the tubing I'm using. I'm probably going to use acrylic tubing, similar size, and you can bend it. And um, the corners are a little bendable easier if you melt some of the stuff out. I might use this kind of tubing. I'm still thinking about it on the, on the build. But we're going to bring in extra items you're going to need for your build. So this these are really unique. I, I, I recommend you buying a box of them and uh i'm gonna see if i could bring the box that i actually purchased and show you the different sizes of it and i bought it not just for this kind of setup but for multiple setups that i'm gonna reuse in the in the future and all uh, other holes that you could actually tie down to so we're gonna take a look at it all right because i bought this unit system i'm gonna need the little uh is pinners the 80 piece i ended up buying this one for actually five bucks six bucks uh it seems like i could find them anywhere but you can't find these in a lot of places i had a little difficult i'm gonna start using that kind of tubing so i end up buying this and this one has different um different type the seven nine ten eleven fourteen 16 17 and 18 and pretty much i'm gonna be using this one this is pretty much the one i'm gonna be using here and they give you 10 pieces on every single one of them um not bad and like i said you could use it for other your cars or something else i mean i bought this because i i, I like i like tools i like to keep my tools together and making sure that i have uh, in parts extra parts in the future so this is a great way to to buy so i ended up buying it not just for this one but i i bought a kit for like six bucks it was worth it uh, if i'm gonna start messing around do mount tubing and stuff like that especially if i'm not using the acrylic if i'm using the pte the bendable one the shapeable one i might end up using that one for something simple to to set up um really unique way to see the water cooling part of it and we're gonna actually add some more to it so let me bring the rest of the stuff so on top of that i end up buying uh, a nice little uh, it's called the OC o cool this is pretty much a nice little unique area uh, system of it it's just a little square that's pretty much what it is it's a little square um but the, the square it, it's an indicator of if water is actually running through your system and uh if you, i'm gonna put it together here let me just rip this thing apart um this this thing has a little spinner in here and on your system uh, this is a lock so there's no water coming out you could actually drain it through here if you want to um, this one has an input and an output and of course two different colors and this thing spins when water runs through it it spins it um, I'm, I, let's see if I could get it in here so pretty much water spins it and this um, how, how much is spent I'm not spinning it fast I'm just showing you guys a little demo because I'm gonna put it together and it's gonna take me a couple of days to put it together but uh, I bought this because I always want to see indicate it's an indicator of if it's running the water properly so not bad little item I bought this little tiny thing and put the description on it alright so we end up buying this part but then I end up buying something that I have to return because I wasn't pleased with it it was this little small water block that I, thought I was gonna put one for maybe just the the GPU or something else but unfortunately it didn't come out really good so I, uh, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's, let's go ahead and bring it up. All right, so I bought this um, system that I have here. I'm going to bring it up to you guys. Um, this is something that you got to beware because um, a lot of things that you buy. So the tubing came with it. They give you like a three-foot tubing on it. Plus, they give you the water block. 
and the screws and the pinchers. This is where I actually saw the pinchers in here. Um, now the water block, it's not like what the picture in the description it had. So it's really, really tiny. Uh, I want it to be something similar to the Corsair water block. Um, it's ready to go too for the tubing. I mean, the tubing fits well. Uh, it came a little damaged here, so we're returning that one. But not only that, this water block is just uh, way too small for any of the uh, the freaking fans that I have right now, if you guys can see it. Let me put it together here so you guys can see the fan. And we're talking about, this is only like almost three, in three inches, all right? And the length is about almost five inches. Uh, really small. Um, it's not gonna retain too much liquid in here. So it, uh, we're gonna have to return this one back, of course. And let, let's go ahead and compare it to Corsair that I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna put it, I'm not gonna take it apart, but if you guys can see the water block on top of it, I, I thought it was gonna be something like this, the dimensions, I didn't read the stuff. I just looked at the picture and I ended up buying something like this. So buyers beware when you buy something like this. It's just make sure that you're doing the right thing. Of course, the fan, I don't have a fan that will fit in the system. If you guys can see that, you know, there's no fan in there. So this sucker is going back. This is, I don't know why they sell these kind of blocks. I mean, this is too small. I mean, to retain the water and transfer water fast, you, you have to have a good pump um, uh, or larger water um, uh, block. So this is crazy. This water block, this radiator here is a lot smaller. So if you guys beware when you buy something like that, if you're trying to DIY, do your own water block and your own water cooling system, this is the stuff I'm showing you guys so you guys can know and get a better dimensions how high it's going to be. Now, this is unique for a small, tiny system. I'm not going to lie to you. It's useful. But the fan didn't, wasn't included. It would have been nice if they would include the fan because you're not going to find the fan anywhere but online. Best thing I bought. Now, I ended up buying this because I knew I was going to need it. And I knew this system that I have here is not enough. This wasn't enough. So I ended up buying all these. And this is a great set. They give you pretty much all of them that you need. With the exception of one of them that I had to order separate. And that's these right here with the exception of these right here. These are not included in here at all. They're pretty much, um, they're not, and you have to buy these separate. So just make sure that if you're gonna buy, you're gonna need at least a couple more for inputs. If you're gonna do the bendable um, PTE, if you're gonna do this kind of tubing, you're gonna need more of these, of course. And um, these are not the easiest thing to put in here too also. They give you all the sets, if you guys can see it. These are 90 degree angle sets in here. Let me open one up so you guys can see it. This is a, a 90 degree. This pretty much goes on the CPU if you want, or on the water block popping out. And uh, you could adjust these. These are adjustable if you guys can see it. So if you are if you screw it on and it's on the corner, you can just bend this down to the other side and it still passes the water in there. Uh, I like this. This is a, a plus. And they give you only one, two, three, four of these. And then they give you a smaller one, a smaller curve that's not adjustable. This is pretty much a 90 degree. And I'm gonna put the description in here and um, how much I spend on this stuff. And if you guys can see it, if you're gonna get, prepare yourself to build something like this, you wanna make sure you have the right equipment. And um, I bought extra stuff just to have in case I have to build another one down the line. If, if people like what I'm gonna build, I'm actually building a unique system where it's my desk that's gonna have the computer built in with the water system. So you're gonna be able to see on the glass uh, on the water running through the glass and everything working. But I actually need to buy all this stuff. And unfortunately I have to return this one back to the store. But great buys to have. If you guys like what you guys see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.